No corner of the world is untouched by climate change, and its effects are becoming harder to ignore. From the Arctic's melting ice to vulnerable coastlines across the globe, scientists and governments are faced with an urgent question. How can we protect our people, our cities, our ecosystems from what could be the greatest threat of our time? That's where the Northern European Enclosure Dam, or NEED, comes in, a radical proposal to address the rising ocean levels threatening Northern Europe. So what is NEED exactly? Picture this, two massive dams, one across the English Channel between France and England, and another stretching across the North Sea from Scotland to Norway. This isn't just a simple construction project, it's an attempt to block the rising sea, one of the boldest ideas proposed by oceanographers Short Grosskamp and Joachim Kelsen. The pair put forward this audacious plan not to have us pick up our shovels tomorrow, but to start a conversation. They want the world to see how monumental the fight against climate change could become if we don't act in time. Need is a concept that's as much a warning as it is a hypothetical solution, revealing the extreme lengths humanity might go to protect itself. So, what would it actually take to build something like Need? The numbers are as staggering as the idea itself. Need South, the Southern Dam, would stretch over an astonishing 161 kilometers, longer than anything of its kind. For comparison, the Seimangam Seawall in Korea, currently the longest in the world, is only 33 kilometers long. The Afsluidijk in the Netherlands, just 32 kilometers. Just to put it into perspective, imagine the journey from England to France on a ferry. It typically takes about five hours. Now imagine taking a ferry along the length of Need South. It would take you just as long to reach the end. But that's not all. This project would require billions of tons of construction materials and a financial investment like nothing we've ever seen before. The estimated cost of need is between $270 billion and $540 billion. And the timeline for completion? It could take anywhere from 50 to 100 years. We're talking about a monumental undertaking, one that would require unwavering commitment, cooperation between nations, and enormous resources. So why even consider such an idea? According to Grosskamp and Kielsen, it's about preparing for the worst case scenario. If climate change mitigation efforts fail, if we can't curb rising sea levels or control carbon emissions, we may need drastic solutions. Need would be one of them. At its core, this project aims to protect over 25 million people in Northern Europe from being displaced by rising seas. These are not just any regions. They include critical economic hubs, unique ecosystems, and vibrant communities that we cannot afford to lose. The proposed Southern Dam alone would span 161 kilometers, while the Northern Dam, or Need North, would consist of multiple sections around the North Sea. Imagine the scale. Imagine the amount of human effort, material, and collaboration required to make this a reality. But experts are quick to ask, would this massive undertaking even deliver the protection it promises? What would be the environmental impacts, the unforeseen consequences? What happens to the delicate balance of marine ecosystems? And how will people adapt to living near such colossal barriers? These questions are at the heart of the need proposal and point to the challenges we face as we grapple with climate change. It's a glimpse into the future, a possible last resort, but one that reveals just how unprepared we might be for what lies ahead. If you thought Need South was large, hold on, because Need North is on a whole different scale. At a staggering 476 kilometers, it would be nearly three times longer than its southern counterpart. This behemoth would begin in northern Scotland, win its way through the Orkney Islands, hop over to Shetland, and finally leap across the North Sea to reach Bergen in Norway. It's an ambitious feat of engineering designed to protect millions from the devastating effects of rising sea levels. But as you can imagine, such a monumental project would come with a price tag to match. In fact, the entire need project is projected to cost as much as $600 billion. Now that's not a random guess. This estimate is based on comparisons with other large-scale seawall projects. Take Korea's Simanjum Seawall, for example, one of the longest seawalls in existence. That project cost around $2 billion, which, in comparison, is just a tiny fraction of NEED's projected budget. So, what does $600 billion really mean? At first, it sounds overwhelming, but if this cost were shared among the 15 countries NEED aims to protect, it could become more manageable. After all, NEED isn't just for one nation. It's designed to safeguard millions of people across Northern Europe from the perils of climate change. However, cost isn't the only challenge. Imagine what these massive seawalls would mean for European trade. 
Key ports like Rotterdam and Hamburg, crucial hubs in Europe's economy, would essentially find themselves within a gigantic reservoir, cut off from easy access to the open ocean. Sluice gates could be installed in the seawalls to let ships pass, but there's a catch. These gates would slow down traffic, causing backups similar to the ones we see at international waterways. These delays would likely impact Europe's maritime economy, leading to longer shipping times and increased costs. The ripple effects could be felt across the continent as trade schedules and shipping prices adjust to accommodate the new barriers. Beyond the economic impact, building these seawalls would be one of the largest civil engineering challenges ever attempted. We're talking about walls with 50-meter-wide tops that stand 20 meters above sea level. These aren't simple structures. They're designed to handle rising water levels and intense ocean currents, possibly for centuries to come. The design calls for a sloping foundation reaching down to the seabed, which helps absorb waves and currents more effectively than a flat wall. Materials would include sand, stone, and clay, relatively simple resources, but in enormous quantities. Just for the sand alone, Need would require more than 50 billion tons. That's enough to cover the entire United Kingdom in a blanket of sand. Is gathering that much material even possible? Experts believe it could be, but it would require ramping up the world's sand extraction by about 10%. At that rate, it might take a decade to gather just the sand needed for the project. And that's only the beginning. While sourcing materials is one challenge, placing them in deep ocean waters is another. Need South would be anchored at depths around 100 meters, but Need North would need to reach a daunting 300 meters to clear the Norwegian Trench. It's an intimidating depth, but we do have some experience. After all, oil rigs operate at similar depths, so while it's a challenge, it's not beyond our capabilities. To build these structures, engineers are considering the use of caissons, giant concrete containers filled with sand or gravel. Think of them as massive building blocks that can be sunk into place on the seafloor. This technique has worked for other seawalls, but need would require thousands of these caissons, and laying them down at this scale could take decades. Experts estimate that constructing need could take anywhere from 50 to 100 years, possibly reaching completion around the year 2100. The irony here is that need may never actually be built. According to the United Nations, the extent of sea level rise depends on our actions today and in the coming years. With global efforts like the Paris Agreement pushing to limit warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius, we have a chance to keep sea level rise within manageable limits. If we commit to this path, the extreme solution of need might not be necessary at all. Need is more than a seawall proposal. It's a wake-up call, a stark reminder that if we don't tackle climate change with urgency now, projects like need could become our only options. In essence, if need needs to be built, it's because we've failed to act in time. Need isn't just a project, it's a vision that reflects both our hopes and fears for the future. It challenges us to think critically about where we're headed and to consider the impact of our choices, not only for ourselves but for generations yet to come. As we stand at this pivotal moment, let's choose a path that leads us to a world where need becomes an unneeded relic, a reminder of how close we came but how we ultimately succeeded. The time for action is now. Together we can build a future where extreme measures remain just ideas on paper. A world where the next generation can live without the looming fear of climate catastrophe. The choice is ours and it starts today.